Welcome to my newest tutorial for my patch, Shattered. Shattered is this effect that can be created with any of your mediums that gives it this kind of shattered glass look. Um, this can be uh, brought into any kind of medium that you have cho chosen, animations, uh, you know, any kind of thing. Um, and there's a series of options that you have av av available to you to change the way in which it looks. Uh, currently, there is this kind of CRT broken glass kind of look based on the color offset. Um, so what you do is you basically can change that to be uh, different colors. You have the ability to kind of move them as you see fit to kind of give it that look. You also have the option to add in more shadow in specific areas to, to kind of offset the glass, the broken glass from the area that it's currently in. Uh, this gives you that um, to, to give a sense of depth to those glassed areas. Also, additionally, you have the option up at the top to change image random, which will change the randomness of the glass. Uh, which is uh, based on a UV mapping in the background. Uh, this patch is resource heavy when it comes to specific things. Um, I am using an i5 8th generation CPU with a 3070 uh, and I'm getting 28 frames per second. So just kind of keep that in mind um, when you're using this patch. Um, you're going to want something that has a, a good amount of resources. It will still run and it runs very well and I'm going to show you that in just a second. However, it does seem to be uh, uh, resource heavy. So I just want to kind of give you a heads up on that. There's some really nice features with this. I have the ability to randomly transport beat the, uh, to the beat of the music by the tap. Um, to change where the, the, the beginning starts and the randomness of each piece of glass. You can also just set it to just trigger and then you can also trigger it to a specific place or you can have it randomly uh, choose which is based off of these two options this randomly offset here this random offset and then this also the random movement so if you choose to turn off random movement and you choose off random offset now when I just trigger it just triggers from the center. You have the option to also change the size of the circle, of the inner circle, and the, the middle, where the pieces of shards of glass kind of start. So this is the middle circle, for instance. And you can also change the amount of random offset. So if it's uh, set to transport beat, it will randomly kind of offset that area. Uh, and you'll get uh, different mixed results in specific places. I thought this was still a, a fairly decent thing to kind of, uh, you know, keep that randomness uh, a little bit more um, broken up, right? Um, but there may be since situations where you don't want that randomness to happen so often, you want it to be a little bit more clean, you can just uh, turn off the random offset or change the offset amount. Uh, which will basically make it so that it's not as uh, it's not as jagged in that in that middle section, right? Um, so you have the option to kind of um, expand and contract this, and you could set this up to like, for instance, an external FFT, and you just add a little bit there, and so now you have this random glass that's audio reactive, right? You could also do the same thing for the middle circles and just set it to the same value, so that way the outside expands at the same time. So there's some nice features there. Uh, you also have the ability to actually change where the center is. So if you don't like it in the middle, for instance, you wanna offset that, you wanna put it like off in the corner, for instance, uh, now you have that ability to do so. And we can like shrink the middle, the, the center point, right? So that is pretty much in a general sense. Um, you have the options to change your shadow depth um, some cases that might be a little bit more believable, um, you know, you could set it off just a little bit more and just kind of um, give that sense of depth, right? Uh, you'll notice that there's a big black line here, but you can, you could set that a little bit, you know, a little bit off. So it's not so much, but that gives it that illusion of depth. Um, right at this moment, the shadow color is set through HSB, right? And so it's got a little bit of an alpha channel. Uh, at 29.8%, so it's able to bleed through to the to the back, but you can 
you could set it at a higher or lower uh, intervals as you see as you see fit. The other option is that you can also turn off the drop shadow and you can also change uh, turn off the uh, offsets. Um, but you also have the option to change uh, to make all kinds of uh, changes with your edges. For instance, if you wanted the edges to be thicker um, or you wanted them to be, you know, thin, you could also make it so that uh, the color is changed. Right. So if you want like a like a blue color or a yellow color or whatever color you want, uh, same kind of thing as before you have the HSB. So you could do transparency here as well. Right. But then add a thickness to it um, and then um, it will give you a little bit more thickness but it'll hide the color so that it's not so strong right um, so that's that's that you also have the option to add in like for instance the transparent background uh, which will basically make it so that the original image is not added in so there may be cases where you might want that for instance here's an example um, I've added in a little bit darker red for the areas which are being shattered, for instance, and so it kind of gives it this offset, right? You can't really see it here, but, you know, I could, I could change that a little bit. Um, we could go into here, and then this is the darkness, so I could, you know, bump that up or a different color, for instance. And so now I have the shattered parts are turning yellow versus the non-shattered parts. So that's that part. And then also we have, like for instance, I have here, I have a transparent background where I've, I've made the original image a darker blue by just adding in a colorize. And so it gives it that kind of offset a little bit more um, by just kind of adding a little extra, you know, finesse. So that's that. Um, here is an example of just a straight picture that has been shattered in, a, you know, in the pieces and you get these offsets here. Um, you can change those offset if you so choose to. So we'll go in here, for instance. And again, um, if we're in shattered image random, you can really hike it up if you so chose to. I really wasn't sure if there would be an instance where you might want to do that. So I just kind of left it as to your, you know, to your imagination. You can offset it to your heart's content. Um, but just know that every time you push the random button, it's going to randomize where those are starting. So... Um, so if I go trigger FFT and I hit randomize trigger, you'll notice that the, the centers are a little bit different. So if we move this down now, every time I hit, it still gives a random within each panel, um, but it's not as far off, right? So you could, you could bump that up a little bit more, right? And hit random transfer. And so you get this, this kind of effect. Uh, so we've shown this one. There's uh, this is just a, an example of the external FFT. I have here the middle and the centers being set up. Um, I don't have them very high, but just enough to kind of you know illustrate the point. And finally, here is just one where the um, the shattered is just randomly generating every time. And so this is kind of a good example as to. Uh, what the effect was intended for was to give it this kind of look and feel, right? Um, so one of the things that's nice about this, again, is you could like increase the size of the middle, increase the middle or uh, increase the size of the, uh, the center point there, and you could randomize the uh, center point, and you could randomize the, uh, the way in which it shards, and then uh, you could, you know, generate a different area. And then you also have this option for minimum random value and maximum random value. If you change those, it'll drastically change where the center starts. Um, so there may be cases where you may want this kind of look. So that's pretty much it. That's that's it for Shattered. That's That's the example of how it works and how it's uh, configured. Um, please give me, uh, you know, questions, comments, complaints, concerns, send me an email. Uh, my email address is uh, jacob, J-A-C-O-B, mesick, M-E-S-I-C-K, at gmail.com. I appreciate your time and your interest in my patch. Um, I hope you have a great day.